All right, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading, December 30th to uh, January 5th of 2020. And uh, in case you wanna get in touch with me, guys, you can check the description down below in this video. Uh, and there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can schedule a, a personal reading, if you will, or just simply get in touch with me. So uh, that being said, moving into the spread directly, we do have the Three of Wands here, which is the topic of um, your Love and Relationship Week, followed by the energies which is supporting the um, topic that is going to be the King of Swords, followed by the next one, which is the challenges that you need to overcome here. That will be the Three of Swords, followed by the next one, which is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. Uh, we do have the Eight of Wands. The fifth card in the spread represents how other people uh, is seeing you, how your um, social circle and um, family is seeing you, uh, how your person of interest or um, your partner is seeing you. That will be the um, Temperance card. Then the sixth one represents what you can do in order to help your long-term goal. And that will be a love and relationship goal, obviously. That will be the full card. Uh, then the seventh one here, it is what can hurt your long-term and uh, relationship, um, long-term love and relationship goal. We have the Four of Cups. And the last one, which is the guidance that Tara is offering, that is going to be the Ten of Wands. Uh, lovely. So, um, let's move on with the spread then. So, Three of Wands and the King of Swords, the topic and the energies. Now, these are quite, um, I would say, intense kind of, a, um, kind of a circumstances. That is because the energies themselves are kind of like going to force you to be active or rather like to be effective when it comes to our love and relationship. What I mean here, it is that um, as the topic is three of wands, you're going to find yourself uh, sitting in on rather... Um, good patterns or rather like well-developed patterns and foundations to do something from them okay and this combination usually comes when two people finally reveal their emotions toward one another and that defines the pattern right and now it's time to do some actions effective actions um, in base of this pattern and this is the situation that you do have right now here Gemini and uh, with those two cards if you are smart about it you can definitely have it the way you want it uh, with the three of wands you can certainly meet your expectations in regards to performance performance from your beloved one or from your partner which should be your beloved one again but what I what I meant here it is from your person of interest or from your partner um, as well now important thing to be acknowledged here it is that you may become a little bit more hmm, tyrannical if you will it's kind of like a yielding when it comes to uh, expectations and when it comes to demands but the thing is that you have only one way how you can manifest what you both need, you and your person of interest. And whether they like it or not, it is, it is the only way. And uh, for that reason, you have to help them foresee that. Another thing it is that you may spend a little bit of your time throughout the week or rather like a, a let's say half of the portion of the week deliberating of what is going to happen if you do this what is going to happen if you do that and so on and so forth that comes from the energy for a reason being is that you are facing a certain difficulty right now in regards to love and relationship either big or small and you are completely aware that through a careful analysis the way out of that difficulty is going to be revealed 
giving you an example here, you and someone are liking each other, you're loving each other, but you cannot be in a relationship right now for one or another reason. Well, if you carefully analyze the situation, the way out of this plight is going to be revealed or the recipe how to be in a relationship is going to be revealed to you. So the other card, it is uh, the uh, challenges that you need to overcome, and that is going to be the Tree of Swords. Tree of Swords uh, in this particular narrative represents to acknowledge the truth, do not uh, kind of like daydream and uh, accept the things as exactly the things are. Now, it's very likely that as soon as you do so, you're going you're going to find yourself shorthanded. What I mean is that you are going to find yourself with your back against the wall. But Tree of uh, Swords makes people perform exceptionally well exactly when they're finding themselves with their back against the wall. Additionally to that, you may expect a short thumb from... Um, your person of interest or from your partner it's it's close to criticizing but this is so they make you uh show how much you care they they need to see do you care or not now important thing here to be acknowledged as well is that these um um, kind of like these situations could escalate into scandals as well and it will be unnecessary for you to feed it it's just you know whatever it's true it's true do not try to deny it everything you try to deny as a truth is gonna backlash on you and finally um we can't fix the past. You can't fix the past. Allowing the despondent past to dwell and tangle through your mind is only going to make you lost. So just, you know, forget what was and focus on what can be. The other card here, it is about the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week in regards to love and relationship. And that is going to be the Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands um, tells us a couple of things. Now, it does depend what kind of a situation you are in. It, first of all, it does point to numerous um, openings for you to make the things right. But you have to be careful when you approach them because they, they need to be, these openings need to be approached with clear headed minds. Otherwise, you're going to risk more than you would like to. And um, another thing with the Eight of Wands when it comes to gifts and blessings, it's the awareness of mind when it comes to love and relationship. The awareness of, uh, how can I say it, uh, of to knowing when you say yes or no, to knowing when, when you should keep silence when you should shut up or when you should speak and therefore it does not look like that you are going to have many prerequisites to feed those scandals or those um, disputes that may appear throughout the week for you in between you and your partner or in between you and your uh, person of interest. Now, the other card here for you, Gemini, is going to be how people are going to see you. And it's kind of understandable that we do have the temperance card. Now, people are seeing you as a person who tries to find the best way around. Um, that is because um, uh, giving you that example here, uh, up until now, you and your partner constantly fought or you're your person person of interest constantly fought um, over certain things, you know, and finally uh, at that week, they are finding you more uh, humble than usual. And that is for a reason being that you do, that you alone are going to analyze that there is no point fighting, there is no point lying, there is no point daydreaming as well. The only point that does make sense right now, it is how to make it work. And people are going to see you trying to find the right formula of how to make it work. As soon as they see you do so, people, or most importantly, your person of interest, your partner, are going to accept the differences that you do have in between each other. And instead of uh, taking those differences as uh, differences into situations, into the situation, not into the personality, all right? And instead of taking those differences as cracks, they're going to take them as a challenges who needs to be overcome in order for them to deserve your presence around them. 
The other card here, it is what is going to help your long-term goal. And that is the full card. It's a bit broad right now um, when it comes to this particular situation for you. But it urges you to be a bit more cheerful than usual and try to, I don't know how to explain it really. It's more like being carefree. It's more like showing detachment of the midst of troubles, right? Showing the... Um, uh, light-heartedness maybe, okay? Uh, showing that, yeah, it's happening right now. I mean, bad thing is happening right now, but no one dies, all right? It's gonna pass and uh, eventually we're gonna have our chance to be together, for example, or we, we're gonna have our chance to make the things happen and so on and so forth. Now, the Fool here, what I'm trying to say here, Gemini, it is that the Fool urges you to focus on the goal itself and not how you're gonna get there, okay? Do not dwell upon the obstacles you are having or you are to have moving forward towards your dream, being with that person or being loved in general, being a family. Focus on the goal itself and that way you're gonna find the right path toward it. Every path has its obstacles and you should not allow yourself to be intimidated by those uh, by those obstacles. Now, important thing to be said is that should you just to know your person of interest or you are to find your person of interest throughout this week, this uh, the full card urges you to be more carefree than usual. Um, uh, how do you say it when you kind of like more flirty probably than usual, more exhilarating than usual and, and, and cheering? if you will. Now, the other card here points to what is going to hurt your long-term goals in regards to love and relationships. And this is the Four of Cups. In this case, the Four of Cups points to dwelling into the past, okay? To the misfortune of the past, if you will. Just to give you an example of it, um, you are to reconciliate but because you had a very poignant past with that person, that does not allow you to do so. Once again, you should not focus on the past, but only on the future, because yesterday is yesterday. And uh, if one tries to recapture it, what only what one is going to achieve, it's only losing tomorrow. So that being said, guys, um, I don't know how to say it. It's just, you know, leave the past to the past and behind your back. And now it's time to just put your glance toward the future. And uh, as you can see here with the Four of Cups, should you do so, it does look like that a uh, love is waiting you behind the corner. It is just right now you don't have the mental awareness to see the very fullness of it. You may be in love, but if that's the case, then you can be so much more in love than that, okay? And finally, we do have the guidance that is going to be the Ten of Wands. Uh, Guidance-wise, Ten of Wands, when, it, when we talk relationship and love, it's about um, being ready to... Um, it's not just do your part, but it's more like oppress your presence and influence in it. What the card says is that you do have much more much better positions than you think you have and it's time for you to cash in on those positions okay you can enforce your opinion you can enforce your way you can enforce your expectations as well and now it's time to do it because one relationship needs to have a, a motion it needs to have an, an, an engine and this week you are the engine of it and if you take a passive position well, then the relationship dies, at least for the week, because there is no engine to put some motion into it. So activity, activity is what is needed from you, uh, Gemini. Nothing more, uh, nothing less. But once again, um, it looks like that uh, you guys have a lot to do here. What I mean it is that a lot is counting on you. And by a lot, I mean the um, the effective and right way to make the things happen in between you two or in between you and your future person of interest. 
So yeah, that being said, this was your uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And in case you do want to get in touch with me, you can check the description down below. There you are going to find a link to my website from which you can schedule a personal reading with me or just simply, you know, through the, con through the contact form, get in touch with me. So yeah, that being said, um, I wish you best of luck in this week in regards to love and relationship and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.